Hey guys, my name is Samuel from How to FAQ, and today I want to show you the best free alternatives for Microsoft Office. It's something Google has created. Google have made Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides. Now these three products resemble Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft PowerPoint. So this is Google Docs. Google Docs is relatively similar to Microsoft Word. Let me open a sample file for you. As you can see, you've got the basic layout that you have in Microsoft Word. You don't have all the, the fancy text and stuff, but for basic word processing, it's perfectly fine. You can see that you can add pictures, you can change colors, as you would with any word processor. And what's nice about this is as soon as you type something, I'll type my name, I'll show you. As you see, it saves it in Drive. And what it means by that is it means it saves it in Google Drive, linked in with your Google account. And as you can see, I've got this project here, Project Proposal and it's just saved it on Google Drive. This can be accessed anywhere with internet access. It's, it's on the cloud, it's cloud storage. And what's amazing about this is there's never a point when you don't save something because it saves it all for you. So, for example, in Microsoft Word, if you were to type something, you could type a whole essay, you could make a whole project, and it wouldn't automatically save it for you unless you have something set up. And what that means is say you were to lose power to your computer, you're gonna run out of battery, or something like that, you would lose all your work. But this doesn't happen with Google Drive, and that's an amazing thing. And also, in terms of accessibility, with Google Drive, you can access it anywhere, so you don't need to bother emailing a document to someone or something stupid like that. And it's also really easy to download the project once you've made it. You can simply download it as a Word document, PDF, etc., all the things you would expect. The main limitations with this is that it's just a word processor, and it doesn't do everything Microsoft Word does. But it does the main part of what people mostly use it for. It also has Google Sheets. Let me show you a sample project again. As you can see here, you can do some quite cool things. You can do some calculations. You can do pretty much all the same calculations you can do in Excel. I've tried most of the things. You can even write scripts. I think this is basically the same as Excel. You can even program some stuff in it as well. You just have to look in. You can add stuff on so you can do more stuff. People make add-ons all the time. Now onto Google Slides. Now this is the replica of Microsoft PowerPoint and I would say it basically works the same. It doesn't have as many animations and stuff as you had before but you still get some transitions that you can add in and you can find all the transitions there. This is a sample Google project. Let me show you everything quickly. So you can just simply go like this, Control F5 and you can have the project just as you had it before and you can even see some nice little tools there as well. You can even do this like it's a little laser as well. So it comes with some nice tools as well. So all these things are free and do most of the functionalities that Microsoft Office provides. Now what's good about this is it's free, it saves everything online in your Google Drive account and you don't have to pay for anything. I've been using this for quite a number of years. This isn't my actual Google Drive, I've got another account to show you this, otherwise I have loads of files everywhere. What's really nice about the way Google have done this is they've done it in such a way that makes your life much more integratable. You can do some work at home and then you can work on the same uh, document at work, you can work at school on the same document, you can have multiple people working on the same document. It makes your life so much easier. You could have five people working on one Google Docs document just to get it done and that would be fine. Google would handle it. Let me show you how to get Google Docs, Google Slides and Google Sheets. It's very simple. Just go to google.com now you see these nine boxes here, these really small boxes here, click on that and as you can see it says drive, if you click more you can see it says docs, that's where you can access Google Docs and from Google Docs you can actually access all the others as well, so you can click there get Google Sheets and you can click there to get to slides So. It's very easy to access, all you need to do this is a Google account, most people already have a Google account, you may not, it's very easy to make one, just go to google.com and sign up. So I want to thank you guys for watching, uh, feel free to watch another video, click these annotations on the screen now, you can click them, new type of annotations, pretty cool. But from now, thanks for watching, I hope you have a great new year in 2017, be sure to subscribe, give this video a like to help me out, and I'll see you next time, goodbye.